sibling rivalry needs to kick in. Behead your sister. Be gone with her. Good evening. Today for me is October 1st, which means one year ago to this day, to this night, I decided I was going to sit down in this room and watch the thing for the first time and then broadcast it to all of y'all. <laughs> this is my first reaction anniversary. We've got a little bit of ambiance. We've got the Halloween apparel. It's time to get some spooky stuff going. And we're watching Ouija, The Origin of Evil. I personally expect this movie to be interesting. I don't know anything about it, except that it's called Ouija. And I know, like what the Ouija board is. I think any person alive today <laughs> knows what the Ouija board is. Um, but I think what's even more interesting is I actually know some of the history of the Ouija board. And I would say the Ouija board is an instance where pop culture has really changed how we view it because you know an amateur historian or an actual historian if an actual historian watches my videos can correct me but the ouija board was eventually or not eventually initially invented as kind of like a parlor game uh spiritualism and seances were like a really common thing about a century ago some businessmen thought that they could capitalize on it, and they came up with the Ouija board. Now, I also think that this movie is probably going to go one of the more common routes. Someone contacts a spirit, the spirit or maybe even demon possesses them or haunts them, and badness ensues. I've seen a lot of movies with Ouija boards. This is something I would really like to know because I think a lot of the people who watch my uh, reactions are horror fans. I think that the idea of the Ouija board being a gateway to not just the other side, but something bad, something in demonic um, is actually something that comes from the exorcist um i really do because to my knowledge when the ouija board was invented people wouldn't have thought they really wouldn't have even given a notion that you would be talking to a demon or that you would be letting a demon into your life because i think the anthrop anthropomorphized um anthropomorphized is that is that how you say that? Anthropomorphic. The way we see demons today in the United States. I can't speak for other parts of the world. I think a lot of the times the way we see demons today is much different than how Americans would have seen demons in the turn of the 20th century or the turn of the 19th century. It's just it wasn't, you know, you, you I don't think people in the 1900s would have ever considered that they were speaking to a demon. It wouldn't have even been in the back of their minds. So I think that that was something that really kind of edged its way into pop culture. This idea that behind Ouija boards are this really demonic, dark thing. Because again, amateur historians can correct me, but the original idea of spiritualism was so popular was that the church really didn't take a care to it like they weren't going out and giving it a rubber stamp of approval but priests were not screaming that you mess with this stuff and you're going to get possessed it was you know no big deal to go to a seance and talk to your dead dog on the weekend on saturday and then show up on church on sunday like those were two very con like they weren't contradictory things so i just like i said i feel like this I feel like I know where the Ouija movie is going to go. It's interesting to know the history of it and to think that pop culture and our idea of what it means to interact with evil and spirits and demons has maybe really shifted the idea of what the Ouija board is. That was a lot, wasn't it? That was a lot. Anyways, I have had two people 
Jeff Bosniak and Patrick Atwell. Hello, my dudes, who have been recommending this movie to me for quite some time. And I thought, seeing as how I know y'all are two of my oldest viewers, I thought I'm going to watch Origins of Evil. So sit back, relax, or don't, and let's get to some scary stuff. Warning. This is a movie reaction review and analysis channel. Means I will talk, means I will pause, means I will mute, and you've been warned. Ooh. That's like the logo they used to put on their like really old movies, right? Like I feel like that was the logo, 1967. I feel like that was the logo that they put on uh, like their 50s and 60s movies. Let's begin. Okay, we might have some spiritualism going on in here. What was your wife's name? Mary. We seek the spirit of Mary Browning. There's definitely a theme going on here. Like, they got the aesthetic. Mary Browning, we seek you in love and light. Dad, don't give this woman our okay. money. Oh. Mary. Oh, my God. Is it real? Mary, if that's you, give us a sign. <laughs> oh, okay. We well, got some interesting sound choices here. I don't think the blonde lady believes it. Is this real or is this all just like a gimmick? Ask your question, sir. Are you in pain anymore? She's not. If she is doing this, she's very convincing. She's young again, beautiful, beautiful forever now. At least she's like giving the guy some solace. Okay, I don't know how you do not break the circle. <laughs> okay, you maybe shake a table with her knee. Oh. She won't be here much longer. Huh? Honey, I have to ask you about Jenny. And he says he'll marry her if it turns out right. Well, I can tell you the answer to that should be no. Okay, I don't know how she's doing this, but this is a scam, Dad. <laughs> Are you sure? Is this, I don't know. Is it real? Is it not real? Is it real? What was that? You almost gave that poor man a heart attack. So it is a she scam. She deserved it, Mom. She was just trying to steal her dad's money. And you, young lady? I heard screaming and got scared. It is a child in the cabinet. This is unacceptable. Wow, this is really involved. It cost us $5. We help people. We give them closure. We give them peace. We... Yeah. Okay. It's not something that can happen without some showmanship. She really was a bitch, wasn't she? <laughs> so this is all going to come back to bite them in the ass, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking. They're going to contact a real spirit. What happened to Dad? I love you, and I miss you every day. Good night, Daddy. Why don't you pray anymore, Mommy? I'd rather talk to Daddy. But he never answers. Why doesn't Daddy talk to us? What is it? Just saying goodnight? Oh yeah, that doesn't look like she's going to bed. Sneaking out of the house? I mean, I guess when you do what she does, you know, tricks and kind of scams, let's call it a scam. She might not call it a scam, but scams, creepy ass doll. It's kind of hard to tell your daughter not to trick and scam you. Is that the one where you talk to ghosts? It's actually really scary. You guys want to play? Quick interlude. I just wanted to say, I think that the concept, and I totally should have said this in the intro, of the Ouija board is so good. Like, there have been actual psychologists who have said, is it real? Are you tapping into like the power of suggestion? Unless this is going to be a different kind of movie where the, um, I don't know, the triangle thing, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, compass, uh, moves on its own 
if you have to be touching it, because I, I mean, I've played the Ouija board. Who, who hasn't played with a Ouija board, right? So I've played with it. And like, unless you're touching or you have to be touching it and other people are usually touching it too. And I was playing it with two other people and it moved. I wasn't moving it. To this day, the two people that I was playing with would swear that they weren't moving it. Is one of us lying? Does the mere fact that you are all putting yourself into the situation where you're expecting it to move allow you to kind of like tap into your unconscious mind so that maybe I was moving it, but I wasn't voluntarily moving it? Because when you have your hands on that triangle thing, it moves. It can be difficult to tell did my hands move it or did the triangle thing move and my hands followed it, right? That inherent unknowableness, you know, especially because you're playing it with friends. I mean, you could play it with strangers, but I think most of the time people play it with friends. You can't, there's only so far you can call them out. You can say it's like, well, bullshit. No, you were, you were lying. Just admit it. And if they don't want to admit it, well, then fine. You don't want to admit it. But I think generally speaking, we're afraid to take that kind of a candid attitude with our friends, uh, especially when you're younger. Like, I shouldn't say that. Nowadays, yeah. If my friends are being, you know, assholes, I have no problem pointing out. It's like, take it down and level dot, dude. But when you're like 10 years old or eight years old or 12 years old, because you usually play it when you're really young you are kind of more apprehensive about crossing that social line of calling your friends a direct liar, I think. At least I was. The concept of the Ouija board, genius, absolutely genius, uh, that you have to be touching the triangle thing. If you didn't have to touch the triangle thingy, if the triangle thing were expected to move around on its own, I think the popularity of this game would have died out. It not it wouldn't have even gotten started because like the whole like the whole myth of the Ouija board is that when they applied for a patent, they had to quote unquote prove that it worked and they were able to prove that it worked when they got their patent for it. And the only reason let's let's make this clear, I mean maybe it worked. I shouldn't be a complete doubting Thomas. But it's much more likely that the inventor who was trying to prove that it worked was simply making it move. But they were able to fool the patent officer now, weren't they? The rules. Never play alone. Never play in a graveyard. Mm. Always say goodbye. I have never played alone. If I did play alone and uh, it started moving, I don't know. Spirits near, we call to you. This girl in the green is way too into it. I wouldn't trust her. Oh my god. Relax, Betty. Are you in the room with us? Ellie, are you, are you doing that? No, I swear. <laughs> Ask your question. See? We react to the slightest pull by helping it move subconsciously. This game was designed to make us scare ourselves. Yeah. There's nothing on the other side, believe me. Okay. You're no fun. <laughs> Break me up. There's no spirit, Betty. Okay. Spirit, prove to us that you're here. Boo. See? Yeah, there's no spirit. There's no spirit. Jesus Ellie! Christ! <laughs> my soul would leave my body! What the fudge is wrong with that mom? Why is she breaking out the door like that? Oh, jeez. What, she think they're having an orgy or something? That is a mother on the warpath. A little lightheaded. I took a really deep breath. They were just playing a stupid game. I can smell your breath. I know how hard it's been for you, and I understand how you feel, but I need you to help me, Lena. Really? A Ouija board? It's actually pretty fun. You should consider adding one to the act. Just a friend, so I, I gotta go. A boy. It's some boy. Mm. Really? Mrs. Xander, I'm Mikey. Well, at, le at least he looks nice. Of course, you know... Satan in a Sunday hat. I need my shoes. Go help your sister get ready. She about to read him up and down. This is a beautiful home. She looks mm. like she's gonna eat him. Have you ever had your palm read? What is read? that? Can't say I have, Mrs. Xander. This is your lifeline. This is your heart line. What's wrong? It's your lifeline. You see how this curves here? This could mean a few things. It means your life is gonna end shortly? If this hand touches my daughter in a way I don't like, ah. 
I hate to see something happen to your lifeline. Yes, ma'am. I think it digs. Door is the door. That's enough. You know why people say mean things, right? Oh, why? it's a priest. Because they're scared. Ten bucks he comes into play later on. Sorry. Has to, like, exercise the house. Thank you, Father. She's been slow making friends since her dad. She's a lovely girl. It's really no trouble. I'd say maybe there was going to be like a thing between these two, but he's a priest. So I'm thinking no. Maybe you could invite Father Tom over for a reading. I don't know if Father Tom would want a reading, sweetheart. New prop for work. A mystifying oracle. Wonderful talking board. Never play it out. <laughs> Never play in a graveyard. Were there a lot of children playing in graveyards? Was this like a thing, a common thing for people to play in graveyards? You know, you got to give her credit. She is very, like, good at inventing. Is there a presence here with us? What is your name? Marcus. Oh, this yes. can't be a fake out. Who are you talking to, Doris? Spirit, can you hear me? Yes, we can. We. Oui. And we can see you. What was that all about? Oh, she doesn't remember. So the little girl is gonna get, like, possessed. I hate it when kids are creepy. Kids are always, kids like are, they have built-in creepiness already. You add, like, demons and spirits to the mix and it's just a whole other level of what the fudge. Oh, one of the rules is don't play alone. That's why it happened. Honey, are you there? I gotta move. I gotta move. Marcus. Oh. That was creepy. This comes out of the corner. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm gonna be watching out in the corner of my eyes. I'm here. You there? I, if, I F R. Hi, friend. Oh, okay. Over under, this kid is gonna kill someone by the end of the movie. That's new. Is she gonna use it to see it? Oh my god, is it gonna poke her eye out? Who are you? I don't like it when people do things with eyes. I like when people do things with eyes. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, stop it. No, this is like, this is like a nightmare. Like you're going to be in bed and you just feel like something on your leg and it like pulls you out of bed and. Holy crap. Wait, is that, is that something in the background? Jesus. Sorry. Oh, I really hurt my leg. Right. I'm turning on right. the lights. I'm turning on the lights. Stop it. No, I'm not prepared. Oh, God. No, I don't want... Uh... Oh, fuck, it was... I knew it. I saw 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 it. Holy mother of fuck. That's what I thought. I thought it was the doorknob, but I couldn't tell if it was the doorknob. So... Is she falling behind? I can help her more. It's nothing like that. Unless she's learned cursive, and somebody's been helping her quite a bit. Doris, who helped you with this? My new friend. Who's your new friend? Satan? <laughs> your new friend did. I let her use my hand. Oh, so it's not Marcus. Oh, no. I should tell him. Maybe by the end of the movie, they'll want to move. As friends we've gathered, hearts are true, spirits near, we call to you. Did you hear that? I'm looking. I'm looking out of the corner of the eyes. Move out of our house. Is there something? Is there anything? Where's the girl going? Is it the girl? If there's any part of him left, it's here. Listen, I know they're supposed to be having a moment, but I'm really focused on what the heck the girl is doing. Doris doesn't quite get it, does she? Oh, fudge, what is she doing now? What does she have? A bag? Here you go. What's that? Oh, money hidden in the walls. <laughs> where, where did you find this? It's over here. Well, hey, I guess this is one heck of a savings account. They're from people who were here before. 
Addie told me. What is that little dot we keep seeing in the top of the screen? What is that? Spirits near, we call to you. Daddy. Is Daddy going to say something? You can hear him? Whispers. I wonder if she thinks this is disrespectful. Doris, this is mean. It's okay, Lena. <laughs> Stop it. Roger, if this is you. When I told you I was pregnant with Lena, where were you when I told you? Is it gonna know? I mean, it's a spirit. Why shouldn't it know? S. Show. Show. Shower. Is she right? Is it gonna move? Isn't that right, Daddy? Is it gonna move? <laughs> oh, if it weren't completely evil, I would be very amazed. What are you looking at? Sometimes I can see them. I haven't seen Daddy yet. Girl, what have you seen? Roger, are you really here? Yeah, I think it's Roger. I think it's all one thing. Just going by many different names. We can actually do what we've been pretending to do. We can talk to Daddy again. My mother was a fortune teller. I wonder if she thinks it, like, runs in families. I thought it was silly. I thought she was pathetic. Just skips generations. Night, Mom. There is not a glimmer of a hope that this is actually Roger. Like, we know that this thing, this is not a good thing. I will not be fooled. Ugh, someone is going to lose their eye. And I don't want to be here when it happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, but I said, I said, oh. Wouldn't sleep, couldn't sleep, not gonna sleep, leaving the house, running away, never coming back. I actually wanted to talk to you about your sister. It's four days in a row now that she's been absent. Why is that? She's not sick. She's possessed. She and my mom have been working. What do you mean? Yeah, ten bucks the priest's not going to be okay with this. Always. Holy mother of no! <laughs> Thank you enough. That was amazing. You're kind of using your daughter here. Like, do you realize that? Like, you're the parent. You're supposed to realize when things could be getting out of hand. Send her to Hogwarts. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm not in the mood. My neck hurts. It stings. Why does her neck the hurt? Is there someone growing out of her neck? <laughs> Movie ends. Whole kid's head just explodes and a full-grown thing just comes straight out of it. Oh, As no. friends have gathered, blah, blah, blah. Stop it, Daddy. stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Hurt. Mm. Mm. <laughs> stop it! Child, turn on a light. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Is she possessed in a coma? Dead? Oh god, no. Just no. It's a whole it's a whole bucket of no. Sibling rivalry needs to kick in. Behead your sister. Be gone with her. The Oh the panic attack I would have. Turn on all the lights. Stay up the rest of the night. Stay up the rest of the week. Keep an eye out. <laughs> oh, keep, yeah, keep an eye out. Well, at least we didn't see it.
And now to take a really nice moment and juxtapose it against something horrible and evil. There, kiddo. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Want to hear something cool? No. No, you really don't. Do you know what it feels like to be strangled to death? First, you feel the pressure in your throat. Pins and needles of ice are sticking into your fingers. And the last thing you feel is cold. What the hell are you talking about? I would run. He is so dead. What is she writing? What the hell did you do this for? Daddy did. To stop the voices. Are you stop it? What? What is all the yelling? Something is wrong with her. You're either too stupid or too stupid. You watch to your see tongue, it. young lady. You know what? You can leave Dad out of it too. <laughs> something is wrong with Doris. She's experiencing Mom. something amazing. So am I. She knows things. I asked her specific questions. How do you explain that? Something is happening here that we can't understand. Changing her, and I know you see that at least a little. Why would he change her? Why would he ever do anything to change her? This is true. This is a good question. I don't want to go to school. I know, honey, but we miss too much. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go! I want to stay here and talk to my friends. I don't want to see what happens when this girl gets mad. I'm not even sure if it's the girl anymore. We saw that black thing you like reach down her throat and climb into her. I don't know how to ask you this, but is, is there anyone at the school who speaks Polish? She's writing in Polish? I, I found these at my house. Doris wrote them. I'm not sure I understand. I saw her. I believe Sister Hannah came here from Poland during the war. Is it a Nazi demon? Father. What do they um, say? What a nice surprise. Well, please come in. Hi, Father. Lena. Are you here? It's a little hard to hear. Gloria, what's your middle name? Lynn? Lynn, want you to be happy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. She doesn't want him to be a priest. Lena's gotten herself into some trouble at school. Isn't that right, Lena? What? I'm sorry, Mom. What kind of trouble? Is there some place we can speak in private? Go up to my room. <laughs> They're trying to play hey, some poker come. faces here. You think you could manage to hold down the fort on your own for a few minutes? Are you up for that? What's this about, Father? Listen, she might be nine, but whatever's inside her is ancient and evil. Where are you going? Mom, please. Just tell us. Why so cryptic? My wife's middle name was Catherine. Did you see her writing these? Actually writing them? I tricked her. Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. It's about all of you. Please. Just tell us what she wrote. The build-up is killing me. She started by calling me darling. An easy guess. Did you bring me up here to tell me my nine-year-old daughter is a fraud? I don't think she's a fraud. I thought the word Lynn as hard as I could. When we ask a question we know the answer to, we think the answer. I thought Lynn. She said Lynn. Your wife's voice? It was a woman's voice. That's all. Just a woman's voice. Whether it sounded exactly like Gloria. What does the fricking page say? What did she write? I don't think your daughter is a fraud. I believe she is channeling powers. <laughs> hey, Doris. Oh my God, why would What's you come back to this house? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. She said you should wait. Outside, you should wait outside. Yeah. Do not go in the basement with this girl. You should come back later. Wouldn't... There's treasure in the walls. I'll show you. <sighs> Goodbye. I asked her to translate them. This is a journal from a man named Marcus who grew up in Poland during the Second World War. 
And it talks about a doctor at the camps and the experiments he'd conduct on the patients. He came to America and lived on the streets, ended up in a mental hospital. He recognized one of the doctors using a different name, but he knew it was the devil's doctor. The doctor took him out of the hospital and brought him to his house, this house. He says the doctor had a secret room. The fudge house did you move into? Is it gonna be like medical tools? Social security. He cut out their problems. tongues. He severed their vocal cords and sealed their mouths. This is enough. And he describes his murder. I don't wanna see this, I know what's gonna happen. I already know what's gonna happen, I don't wanna see it. And it talks about the other things in the dark. Things that were never human. <laughs> She knew things. Things only Roger and I knew. Things that you and Dad said and did after you moved in. The problem isn't the house. Not anymore. This is a very similar story to The Conjuring. They were watching us. All those years. Inside the house, everything we did. So why can't they see you now? That means they're watching us now. Oh god, this is a horrible concept. <laughs> Damn it. Doris, honey? My heart is, like, legitimately moving inside my chest faster than it should. Find the child. Leave the house. Where is it? It's, 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 where is it? Is it somewhere? I got her and we get her outside. <gasps> no, 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 no. We have to find your sister. Hmm. Maybe get your one child out of the house and then come back for the other child. Like, maybe it's time to prioritize children here. <laughs> I don't know. The basement. Make the priest go first. He's got God on his side. This is my house, and I'm going with you. Splitting up sounds like the stupidest idea in the world. Okay, then. Did she really just say that to me? Oh, God. I did. I really did just recommend splitting up, didn't I? Oh. I'm telling you, the priest should go first. Jesus will protect him. Doris! Honey! Let's burn that. <laughs> They're in here. All of them. We played in a graveyard. Oh God, she's got no choice. You stay here with your daughter. If she's in there, I'll bring her out. Eight out of ten, he's about to punch his ticket. Well, that's not good. Too quiet. It's too quiet. That's where we die. Is something behind her? Come with me. I can help you. Can help you. Okay. Well, Doris? Are we sure it's him? She's part of the walls now. And she told me the most wonderful, awful thing. Ah! Uh. Is he just playing with her? Oh, nope, okay. <laughs> Priest down! Priest dead! Oh, shit. It's back! I don't... It's happening! So much is happening! Kick her in the head! Kick her in the head! Speak to me. I'm a vessel. She's a better vessel. Let them go! Take me! We'll take all of you! Oh my god, are they actually all going to die? Holy fucking shit! No! 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 Dad. What the hell did you do this for? What is happening? Daddy did. 
To stop the voices. Oh my god, is she gonna sh is she gonna sew her sister's mouth shut? Girl down. No, he doesn't. The fuck are we about to witness? Is she Daddy. dead? Oh my god. Oh, holy fudge. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Is she looking creepy. Oh god. I had to. To stop the voices. How are you going to explain this? To anyone? Are we sure that Lena is Lena? Why aren't they showing us Lena? Oh, and damn it. So think at the beginning of the movie, they were just trying to get by. Where did you go just now? What were we talking about? Is she in a psychiatric hospital? Your sister? My mother might know. I think she said something about where Dorothy We've been over this. She's dead. Because you... Right, of course. We can't find your sister. And still, we can't have a proper conversation. Really, the only thing that I can say about my mother is that she wanted to know that we weren't alone. We were never alone. Is she gonna make like a makeshift? Yeah, she's gonna make a Ouija board. Are you there? Listen, I think we've already established that whatever it is, it won't be Doris. She gonna be dead? Oh no! Doris was sitting on her bed. Something that looked like Doris was. <gasps> oh come on! Oh, it got me the one last time. <sighs> All right, <laughs> that was my reaction to. Ouija, Origin of Evil, holy crap. That was such a good movie. And I can't tell you why, but it was just, it was, it was different. I think if I had to put like my finger on it at all, I would say that the style of the scares was it kind of, you know, this reminded me of Paranormal Activity. It reminded me a lot of Paranormal Activity, where the type of scare... Because a lot of movies, like, say, The Conjuring, for example, they they hit the scare, so they kind of, like, do a build-up. Because um, I was actually noticing this when I was doing The Conjuring movies, when I was editing them, is you in the audio, you would see, like, a gradual build-up, and it was clear that a scare was going to come... And then just like drop. The scare came down and it scared you. This, it was like the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie was a gradual build up. And you were never allowed to actually come down off that drop. There was just, there was so much tension, so much tension. And they just kept ratcheting it up and i think that one way they very successfully did that was by making the focal location of this movie nothing but the house there were a few scenes that we got outside of the house at the school but i think they were like maybe three 
of those scenes, and then everything else took place somewhere in that house. Their use of time, I would say, was also very interesting. Events were moving very linearly. So one event flowed like directly into the next event. And I think that that helped you kind of never really come down. The There were two occasions where I don't think that happened. The first one was at the beginning of the movie when they're first learning about the Ouija board. And then we kind of move to a scene outside of the house where Lena is being scolded by her mom. And then her mom goes into the store and buys the Ouija board. So that was a removal from the main plot. And then the second one, I think, would be when, I don't remember his name, the boy that was interested in Lena, when he came over and things kind of happened. And now that I'm thinking about it, there are actually three. The third one was when uh, Lena's mom was talking with the priest at the restaurant. I would say that those three things were the only plot points where the movie drastically deviated. Otherwise, every scene was just gradually flowing into the next. It never really let you get off the ride. Uh, there were a lot of moments in this movie, the scares, they were not jump scares, but they felt like jump scares, but turned up to a hundred. Uh, so the first one was, and I think the way they did it. So the first one was where I thought I saw eyes, but I thought when I was looking at it, well, maybe it's just the door handle. Maybe it's like light because it was at the door handles eye level. No, like a couple seconds later, it stands up and you do actually realize this is like something. This is a thing. Uh, and they did that several times throughout the movie, but it wasn't a jump scare. You weren't expecting it. And it didn't so much like jump out at you as you just kind of noticed it was there in glancing. It just kind of like stuck around. So it, you know, like once you saw that it was there, you really either you had like there were a couple of times where I just I straight up stopped looking at the screen. <laughs> I'm like, no, mm, no, only so much my psyche can take for now. So like, I don't I wouldn't call that a jump scare. They were scares. They were like legitimately creepy scares. I also have to praise this movie for using Doris. I said in the beginning, kids are creepy. Kids are very, very creepy. Take a haunted, possessed, demonic child and you got creepy to the max. Like, I don't think that you would have gotten the same creep factor if it were a kid. But even the story itself was very, very creepy. The Ouija story, I think we've heard that a million times. And I expected it to be a demon or um, an evil spirit of some kind. But then when the priest comes in and he, like, cleverly leads you through how this thing is being so deceptive that it's reading your mind that it's um giving oops sorry that it's giving vague details that it's you know only saying minor words in another voice so you can't do that and then they lead into like the whole poland and like the notes and i guess like a nazi doctor <laughs> i <sighs> It was a very well-developed story. And you know, that could just be because it's a prequel, but I'm not sure. I don't think so because a couple of my patrons have told me that this movie is like, you, don't, you didn't need to know anything from the first movie to have seen this. And that's probably because it's a prequel, but they still could have had a lot of maybe like stuff to work off from the movie, maybe to fit into this prequel. Maybe like the Nazi doctor thing is... Uh, from the original, or maybe like Lena is in the original, but she's a side character who tells them what's going on. I'm not sure. All I know is that the story, the writing, the directing, the pace, the timing, the locations, everything about this movie was awesome. A plus movie would definitely recommend to someone who wants to get scared. Anywho, if you want to leave a comment or leave a like, please do so down there. 
full version is in the description and I will talk to you guys when I'm a little less freaked out because it is 11 o'clock at night and now I somehow have to go to sleep. <sighs> Bye.